So you bought a brand new Pixel device. Congratulations on your new phone. Now, the first thing you wanna do is probably transfer all of your data from your old phone to your new phone. Now you can do this from a Samsung device or an Apple device, no matter what it is, you can transfer all of your data from your old phone over to your new Pixel device. Now, if you've already gone through the initial setup wizard and you're on your home screen, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually reset your phone to go back to that initial startup screen. Now to do that, what you're gonna do is just swipe down from your home screen, then swipe down again and hit on the settings icon. Scroll down to system and then scroll all the way down to where it says reset options. We're going to tap on that and then we're just going to tap erase all data factory reset. So we're going to tap that. It's going to tell you, are you sure you want to do this? It's going to erase all of your data, music, photos, everything. We're going to tap yes. And now it's just going to ask us for a pin if you set one up. And then it's just going to prompt us one more time. We're going to say yes, erase all data. And there you go. It's going to start factory resetting our phone. So we're going to put our phone down. Wait for it to do that and we'll be right back in a few minutes. All right guys, and we are back and as you can see, we are now on the initial setup for the Pixel device. So all we're gonna do is hit get started and the first thing is gonna ask you is to insert your SIM into your new phone. You don't have to do this at this point, you can do it later. So I'm just gonna tap skip. Now it's just gonna search for a Wi-Fi network. So once it finds that, we're gonna connect to our Wi-Fi. All right, so now we're presented with this copy apps and data screen. Now, as you can see, you can hit don't copy if you just wanna start fresh. You don't wanna move anything from your old phone to your new phone. Some people like doing that, so you can go ahead and do that. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna tap next. And it's just gonna tell you to use your old phone. We're gonna tap next one more time. And now it says just find your appropriate cable and plug it in to the new phone. Now, fortunately, Google provides us everything we need to move all our data from our old phone. In the actual box that it comes in, we get the USB-C to C cable that I'm gonna use to connect these two devices. But if you have, say, like an, uh, an iPhone, which doesn't have a USB-C, it has a lightning cable like this. So as you can see, it's lightning cable to USB-A. We actually get this little converter here that Google provides. So all we need to do is plug this in. Now this becomes a USB-C port. So we just plug in the light lightning into our old iPhone and the USB-C into our Google device. So if you have an iPhone, you can do it like that. But if you have a Samsung device with USB-C, all you need is this cable right here. All right, so once you get these plugged in, it will automatically see that there's a device connected and it knows that you're trying to transfer data. So you can see on your Pixel device, it says, check your other phone. So we're gonna start everything from this phone right here. It says, copy data to your new phone. We're gonna say copy. It's gonna ask you for your pin. Okay, so as you can see, it took a little bit of time to just scan my old phone for any of the data that I have on here. And now it's being presented to me on my new phone and it's asking me what I want to copy. You can see there's 31 gigabytes of data available and there's apps, contacts, photos and videos, music, text messages, pretty much all of these options that I can copy to my new phone. And there's these little check boxes that I can deselect if I no longer want to copy these to my new phone. So that's really nice. And you can even get more granular by tapping into here. So you can see I have 93 apps, but if I tap in here, It'll show me all of my apps and I can go ahead and deselect whichever ones I no longer want. So that's really nice. Just go ahead and set this up to your liking. Deselect whatever you don't want. But if this is perfect and you want to just copy everything, all you're going to do is go ahead and tap copy. Okay, so while that's all happening in the background, you just get to go through the initial setup wizard like usual. So you can see it asks if you want to use your location, allow scanning, if you want to send diagnostics to Google so they can make improvements to their software. I'm just going to leave all of this off and I'm going to hit accept. And then we get the option to back up our phone to the Google Drive so you can save all your photos, contacts, apps, and everything on the cloud. I don't wanna do that for now. I kinda of just do that manually as I go. So I'm just gonna hit not now. It's gonna ask us to set up a pin. So just set up whatever pin you want. It has to be four digits at the least. So we're just gonna set that up, confirm. And now we get the option to set up our fingerprint scanner. So this is the only biometric authentication available on the Pixel 6. We don't get face unlock, unfortunately, so I am gonna set this up. If we scroll down, I'm just gonna hit I agree. And now it's gonna ask you to set up your finger. We're gonna hit start. And we're just gonna go ahead and tap this a couple of times. Just make sure to move your finger around all sorts of directions, just because you never know how you're gonna be holding your phone. You want it to be able to read your finger from any position. So there you go, my fingerprint is added and you can add more fingerprints later on in the settings. So we're gonna tap next. 
So now we get the option to set up all these other things like Google Assistant, Google Pay. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna say leave and get reminded later. And then we get the additional Google apps that we get the choice of downloading. So if you want Google News, Google One, Google Pay, you can go ahead and select whatever you want. All right, so now you can see we are back to copying our data screen. This has been going on the whole time in the background as we were going through that setup wizard. So we're just gonna wait this last 10 minutes out and we'll be back to pick up from there. All right, so there you go. As you can see, we are now finished copying. That did take about 10 minutes, so that reading was accurate. But you can see your phone is almost ready. Here's all the things that we copied over, pretty much everything. It says you can disconnect your cable at this time. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug these. And you can pretty much go back to using your old phone if you want. But on our new phone, we're just going to go ahead and hit done. Now it's just going to go ahead and get everything ready. So let's just give this a few more minutes until it takes us to our home screen. Okay, it looks like there's actually a few more things to go over. So it's going to teach you a little bit about navigating your phone with gesture control. If you're not familiar with gesture control, I suggest you go ahead and go through this tutorial. But I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. And there you go. It says we're all set. Swipe up to go home. So voila so there you go guys you can see everything is pretty much done this phone is now completely on here all of my data everything my login my passwords my apps photos videos text messages all my contacts it's all here so there you go that's pretty much how you transfer all your data from your old phone to your new pixel device hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one peace